guys so welcome back to the channel my name is rita and i'm the cooking nurse and today we're going to be making creamy mushroom sauce or soup whatever you call it anyways this is what we have i am using some oyster mushrooms because it's so hard for us to you know land those button ones eh? those fancy fancy ones but they also do the same thing and most times you're going to find this more often wherever you go so what we have here is some um, uh, white onion some garlic and then i have some quick uh, cooking cream which can also be used for salads curry uh, continental dishes it can also be used in pasta and soups a lot of other things and then we have some butter which is the fat that we're going to be using i have some coriander which is the herb garnish that i'm going to be using and then that's it we are going now to peel our garlic this is the easiest way to peel garlic by the way just put it down smash it like if you have anger you just finish all of it in that garlic because if you don't just like this it's going to take you like a whole day trying to peel one garlic so it's a hack you're welcome you already knew this anyways chop it finely into those small small like minced sizes so that it's not uh visible when you finally put it in your soup to cook anyways as i chop this garlic and also show show off my improved knife skills i'm going to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please share with your friends this video that you think are gonna like it give this video a like and follow me on all my socials so that when you try out these recipes you do tag me and i see them i really love to see it anyways once it's finely chopped put it aside and cut all the other vegetables so garlic is like a good aromatic but you don't need too much because then it is going to overshadow the flavor of on of mushroom which is the star of the sauce so we're going to chop our um, white onion and then set it aside and then we're going to shred our oyster mushrooms these ones are so easy to shred some people use knives but i prefer to use hands because it's like it's not troublesome yeah, I don't know if I can say that, but yeah, it's not troublesome. And that's it. Just uh, put them aside. I am going to have, uh, use. I'm going to use some stock. So it's what I just put down there. You're going to see how I use it. And then on your hot pan, just melt some little bit of butter, about a tablespoon. It depends on how creamy and, you know, gorgeous and nice you want it on the tongue. So put in the red onion, uh, the white onion. And then so that it, the reason we're using the white onion is because it's not so strong. So it's not going to overshadow the mushroom. Remember, we are putting in cream and then these mushrooms have the distinct flavor that if you also over like put over flavor it's going to just get lost so you don't want to use a strong onion like the red ones however if you don't have the white ones you can also use the other ones no problem or you can use shallots and you're going to add in your garlic uh make it properly like when the onions are soft and fragrant then you're going to add in your garlic and then also fry fry it shallowly and then once it's also fragrant and aromatic add in your a shredded mushroom oyster mushrooms you're going to toast these you can also first toast these and put them aside or cook like the water out because mushrooms are vegetables by the way i also just found out yeah so i shouldn't sound so sharp but they are they have some liquid in them that they usually let go of as you're going to see you're going to see some water produced so you can first fry them and then put the aromatics aromatics later or whatever you do just make sure these are the steps just don't want a blunt or just creamy creamy thing so this is it the water has started to come i don't know if you can see it yeah of course you can if you don't have your glasses please go grab them and then once they are all sauteed and they are all soft and they have decreased i mean they have reduced in number then we're going to add in our stock this stock is not seasoned it has no salt yeah so we're going to put it in it's a uh, clear vegetable stock i just boiled a few vegetables just to create the stock so it has more aroma instead of using whole vegetables you just use this stock to give it more uh sense of like you thought about it and then i'm going to add in some salt i used the himalayan pink salt and then i'm going to add in a dash of Worcestershire sauce this one is going to elevate the umami the saltness it's so so uh, seasoned so it's going to give you that sweetness yeah like the the sense of yeah you put in some little bit of effort though it wasn't so much so you can also use uh white pepper but i prefer black pepper but for you since this is a white thing you may need to use white pepper so that it's not it does not like come out and show that you actually put in black pepper so mix this and cook it on low uh let it simmer for about five to eight minutes until this 
liquid has reduced and then you're going to add in your cream now this cooking cream you will need to also cook it down on very low heat yeah very low heat and if you want your cream of mushroom sauce or soup too thick a little bit on the thick side then you're going to get a bowl mix some little bit of cornstarch with uh, stock and then pour it in here that cornstarch is going to help you thicken your sauce as it cooks on low heat you do not want to do this if you're counting your calories because you used butter already the cream is already like heavy so you also want to think about it and then the other thing is i don't really like want to be having now a so thick sauce of yeah mushroom whatever so yeah i'm keeping mine loose if you want you know the hack or the trick and then i'm going to garnish mine with dania but this is optional you may not need to put it in because you see those green flakes someone can ask you why they are, why is there a green you know color in the mushroom soup that is supposed to be like whitish or creamish anyways this is how you know your cream is ready when you pass in a stainless steel spoon you pass like a finger and it does not like go all over the place the, the line is sustained that is it and now you're ready to serve you can serve this with mashed potatoes rice whatever you have really i'll see you soon in my next videos bye